In this video we are going to talk about the tips for traveling to Italy for the first time. So before starting this video like this video. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Are you planning your first trip to Italy? This lovely country is not only one of the world's best gastronomic destinations, but it also has some seriously renowned tourist attractions. You'll never get bored here, with over 55 UNESCO World Heritage Sites, 3 active volcanoes, and over 1,500 lakes. If you're still hungry, there's always pizza. When planning a trip to Italy, there are a few things to keep in mind to ensure a safe and happy visit. Take attention, first-time visitors, here are some of the things to think about for your trip to Italy. Discover Italy's everyday life in addition to its iconic landmarks. If this is your first trip to Italy, seeing the iconic sites is an absolute must. However, you'll see more tourists than natives near the main sites. However, if you want to learn more about Italian daily life, you need go where the locals are. There are various options for mixing with the locals. Use public transportation. Visit your local markets. Go for a walk near a university. Go to the supermarket. Look for fishermen along the water or farmers in the countryside where people work. Take a stroll through several residential regions. Like a local, order pizza and cappuccino. The authentic Italian pizza is made with just a few ingredients, mozzarella or buffalo mozzarella, tomatoes and basil. You can't get much more classic than margarita pizza. Napolitana, similar to margarita but with anchovies added, and marinara are two more real pizzas, the simplest one, with just tomato and a bit of garlic and oil, perfect for people who have lactose intolerance. Regina Margarita, margarita with buffalo mozzarella and raw cherry tomatoes, for stagioni, meaning four seasons, usually four corners, each with a different topping, mushrooms, ham, artichokes, and tomatoes are among the semi-classic pizzas. Taste local products and recipes while learning about the diversity of Italian regional food and wine. Few countries in the world have as diverse a cuisine as Italy. You'll find distinct specialties based on local, traditional ingredients and goods as you travel north to south, area by region. Even within a region, you'll discover that each area has something unusual and unique to offer in terms of geography. Mostly neat in the interior and fish around the coast. Not to mention the hundreds of pasta cooking recipes available, ranging from hard wheat pasta to homemade egg pasta. Food and wine, tasting is undoubtedly one of the most important things to do in Italy. It's difficult to say which region is the best. You can eat delectable foods and sample fantastic local items in each of them. Italy is a secure nation. Still, keep an eye out for small crime and foul play near the main tourist attractions. Italy is a secure and friendly country. Petty crime and foul play are possible in big cities and near the most popular sites, as they are everywhere else. Here are some common sense travel suggestions for Italy, especially if this is your first visit. Keep your handbag or backpack in front of you on public transportation to avoid pickpockets. Also, never put your wallet in the back pocket of your pants. Instead, keep it in your luggage, preferably in a zippered pocket out of sight. In Italy, train stations and prominent landmarks are both areas where tourists may become victims. As a result, be wary of anyone who volunteer to assist you. While the most of them will be sincere in their generosity, some may be attempting to rob or defraud you. Finally, in public places, do not leave your valuables unattended. Also, keep your bag between your legs or on your lap. If at all possible, travel during the off-season. While you can't go wrong visiting Italy at any time of year, there are several particularly pleasant seasons. The greatest time to visit Italy depends on the regions you want to visit and what you want to do. In general, try to visit Italy during the off-season. Spring and autumn are ideal travel seasons since they are less busy and the weather is lovely. However, there are a few considerations to make when planning your trip to Italy. It is best to avoid visiting to southern Italy in late June, July, and August because the weather can be extremely hot. In addition, during the summer months of July and August, when the majority of Italians vacation, seaside cities and beach resorts are particularly congested. August, on the other hand, is an excellent time to explore cities such as Milan, Florence, and Rome. 
Many residents are on vacation, thus there is less traffic. Spend less on public transportation. With frequent connections between Milan, Florence, Rome, and Naples, Italy boasts the best high-speed trains in Europe. Milan to Rome, for example, may be reached in three hours. The bullet train takes less than an hour and a half to go between Florence and Rome. Finally, the travel time between Milan and Florence is less than two hours. High-speed trains are the ideal method to travel Italy if you're simply visiting the major cities. However, bullet trains in Italy can be expensive, especially if purchased at the last minute. Local transportation can be rather costly, particularly in Venice, where purchasing a 24-48- dash, or 72-hour pass is the best option. Visitors can purchase public transportation tickets in all of the major cities. However, finding them can be difficult. Simply check at the websites of the firms that manage local public transit and the tourism board's internet pages. Make the best use of your time. Save time by making a reservation in advance. Unless you're lucky in travel off-season, you'll encounter long lines at all of Italy's major attractions. Queuing will squander valuable time, which is especially unfortunate if you are visiting Italy for the first time. It also implies that even before you begin your vacation to Florence, Rome, Venice, or even to view the cathedral in Milan, you will most likely be fatigued. Because of the need to protect some rare works of art, and the high cost of restoring them, the number of individuals who could visit at the same time was limited. If you wish to see Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper, you can do it in Milan. In Padua, the same regulation applies when visiting Giotto's stunning frescoes in the Cappella degli Scrovegni and other sensitive locations. Use only regular taxis. Taking a normal, official taxi is something we all assume is simple sense, but you'd be shocked how many tourists are still duped. People providing a private cab service may approach you at the airport or train station in major cities. It may be tempting, especially if it's your first time in Italy, because it's convenient, no need to look for a cab stand, or possibly faster, not having to queue. However, a humble recommendation is to never, ever accept such a deal. If you're lucky, you'll spend a lot more, non-official automobiles don't have meters, and you can't rule out the possibility that such a ride may lead to more regrettable circumstances. When having a drink or a snack at a table at many cafes, be aware of additional expenses. One of the first things to be aware of while visiting Italy is a peculiar and inconvenient ritual that is rarely encountered outside of Italy. In many touristy regions, cafes charge different pricing depending on whether you order something at the counter or at a table. People visiting Italy for the first time are frequently unaware of these additional costs, which has resulted in unpleasant surprises on several occasions. In sites like Piazza San Marco in Venice or near the cathedral in Milan, sitting at a table prices range from a few cents, occasionally, to insanely large amounts. Cafes are required by law to post prices at the counter and at a table, respectively. They are, however, not always easy to spot. That is why, before taking a seat, you should always request a menu with the proper pricing so that you can determine whether you want to stay or go somewhere. It's better to be safe than sorry. Stay away from tourist traps. Places that are overrun with tourists are potential tourist traps all over the world, and Italy is no exception. Avoiding them is usually plain sense, but it might be difficult for us Italians, especially when visiting the world's most recognized cities. In general, there are a few guidelines that will help you avoid tourist traps. Skip the cafes and restaurants near the major attractions, as well as any other tourist traps. Restaurants that display images of the dishes and menus in many languages should be avoided. They are clearly aimed at international visitors. Don't rely on TripAdvisor too much and learn to read between the lines. Look for reviews from Italians first and foremost. Inquire with locals via social media and the folks you're staying with, especially if you're staying in tiny goose houses. To prepare for your trip, read a reputable Italy travel guide. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.